Hi everyone, this is Monica from Uni Designs by Monica and today I'm going to show you how to make your own little pipettes um, using nothing more than basic shapes on Cricut Design Space. So this image you see right here was posted in one of um, the Cricut Facebook groups and I wanted to show you something how you can make an, a variation of this for yourself using nothing more than basic shapes. So let's get started. As you can see, I have made my own little rendition and I was like, how can I make this look like what I want? So let me just delete this one. That's right, my delete won't work. I'm gonna set that right there. And I'm gonna try to make this as a pipette as much as possible. Now I know it kind of looks like a carrot, but to be truth be told, so, so did the image itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab myself a rectangle or I'm sorry a triangle I'm gonna flip this so it looks more like an ice cream cone I'm gonna take it off the lock and I'm going to elongate it just like that now you're gonna get a very pointing edge now after everything is said and done you can easily take some scissors and cut that off it's a little harder to do on Cricut Design Space to get rounded edges especially on a triangle so we're gonna get ourselves a circle and we're going to take it off the lock and we're going to have that little rounded edge that a pipette has. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it from point to point. Just like that. Now you can make this a little higher or lower depending on how you want. So I'm just going to make it a little higher but still keeping the same edges. And I'm going to make sure that this is in the middle. No, 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 no. There we go. Center horizontally. There we go. And weld. So now we have our little pot pipette shape. Now I'm going to try not to make it look like a carrot top like it did here. But, you know, it's kind of hard to, to manipulate shapes with Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to do my best not to do that. And I'm going to duplicate this move it and duplicate it again and move it like that it still still looks very much like a carrot let me weld these now i'm going to duplicate this portion and i'm going to weld this weld just like that now i want it to look like it has filling in there already so what i'm going to do is i'm going to slice this portion right here. Let me take this off the lock. I'm going to go a little further down. This one I went a little high. This one I'm going to just bring it down a little more. I'm going to slice this off. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it fit in here. So I'm going to make it a little smaller, give it some edges. It's all about trial and error, see what works and what doesn't. I'm gonna highlight everything and go center horizontally. Okay, perfect, I'm gonna slice. All right, you can leave the pipette like that if you wish, but if you wanna make it look like it has something inside, grab yourself a couple of circles, at least two, and then just manipulate it in here like that. And I'm gonna make this one a slightly bit smaller, but I'm gonna have it fill in the on the opposite direction and then weld. There we go. So far so good. Now I'm gonna make it look like it has a little gloss or a sheen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab myself a um, square and then elongate it. But what I'm gonna do differently that I didn't do here is I'm going to take that off I mean, make another uh, square, take this off the lock, and I'm gonna elongate it. I kinda wanna have it to have a point. So it mimics the, the bag itself, and I'm gonna slice. There we go. Good, perfect. Now I don't need any of these shapes. Alrighty, so let's just make this pink. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up with this edge right here. 
And I'm going to take this off the lock and elongate it a little more. Uh, let's see if I can flip it. Yeah. There we go. Now it's actually following. You see how this has a cut edge? It's following that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight everything and slice. Now, once you slice, you're going to get a couple of, of uh, images here. That's right. I can't use my delete button. There we go. You see how it left this little piece? Pull it out a little more and use that to your advantage. Color this also pink. There you go. And group. Let's attach everything. Now, this looks a little, a little thin, so I'm just going to pull it out just a little more. There. Now you have yourself a pipette that you can use for anything. I mean, you if you really realistically want it, you could use this as a carrot, but if you change it to different colors, make it smaller, like that. Let's do a couple of duplicates, different directions. Oh, come on now. No, no, no. Move it like this. Move this one the other direction. Change the color. Okay, then you got different pipe ups. Now if you make it nice and tiny, there you go. Now if you don't want the line, and if say you were doing a print and cut, they'll go away, the lines will go away. So what you gotta do is go to flatten, and there you go. Perfect. You can add that to a card, you know, print and cut it or just print it and you don't have to cut it. And there you go. You're done. Thank you so much for stopping on by. I hope this really helps everyone. You have a good day. Bye.